which rod is better between the Shakespeare Ugly Stick Big Water and the Pin Squadron 2. You're about to find out right now which one can cast the furthest. So you're about to see which rod will cast the furthest. We're standing at the zero yard line. This is the goal line. Of course, you can see the football goal post in the background. I'm going to cast this away from any people that are here uh, in the parking lot. There's some cars down there you can see. I'm going to cast away from those as well. In case something were to pop off and go flying like a projectile, it could seriously hurt someone, injure them, or even kill them. It's like a missile when you're casting out here. So I got a casting glove that I made out of a football glove by Nike. I'm not sponsored by Nike. If I was, then I'd probably be someone really famous. So today we've got, got the Pin Squadron 2. This is a heavy fast action paired with a pin 6500 it's an older reel and i also have the favorite line of mine now which is the seeger smackdown green 30 pound test it has di diameter of eight pound so we are going to try to cast this a hundred yards or further and we're going to see which one can cast the furthest this heavier action rod or the ugly stick got it paired with exactly the same thing on each line we're casting a four ounce weight on the end so here goes the first cast i don't do the pendulum cast i kind of rock into it even when i'm casting in real life so we're going to tear into this in a second Wow. <laughs> There's cast one. And we're immediately going to go down there and mark it. I've got some of these football skivvies. I'm going to lay it down where I casted it. I almost cast it out 150 yards. This is only 150 yards this liter. So we're going to reel it in. And I'm going to reel as I go to keep it tight. I'm not going to cut the film just because we need to see where this is going and i can tell you right now it is already over the fence the key to casting far is really to decrease your resistance uh, that you have where it could be that the resistance is coming from your monofilament the resistance is coming from too heavy or line I'm going to have to climb over the fence here or go around the fence. This puppy went over both fences. Oh my God. I think I'm only going to do one cast today because this is kind of dangerous. So let me go over this fence. I got to lay my rod right here. Okay. We just made it down to the other goal post and this is over the fence. So we know We've already gone 110 yards right now on this cast. I am so glad that I did not cast this towards a car. Where is this thing? People are looking at me like I've done something wrong. Where did this cast? Oh my gosh. So far, we're at 110 yards. It's over this fence too. Oh, I found it. Okay, so let me give you some perspective here. Here's the rod that I laid down. Here's my line, you can see it. Okay, so that's 110. This is another 10 yards to this fence. 
so we're gonna follow this down I'm getting close to it this puppy is in the ground right there I'm gonna say it's another five yards I'm gonna pull it out of the ground if you can see my line here it comes there's the weight this went a hundred and twenty five yards my gosh let's set this down where where it genuinely was it was right there man oh man that was a four ounce weight 125 yards i gotta be careful and watch where i'm casting these because i'm close to hitting a car can you imagine a four ounce weight coming out of the atmosphere and hitting the windshield of a car now let's check out the ugly stick by Shakespeare it's the ugly stick big water 12 foot the action on this is just heavy now what you're gonna see when I cast this one is the tip is gonna go so much further back uh, I love watching films and seeing everything bow over this one's gonna look like it's touching the ground the next cast we're gonna do is the same thing pin 6500 uh, got the Smackdown 30 line and we're just gonna cast it I'm gonna aim for a bucket over to the uh, left of NYSA I don't want to hit a car I don't want to hit a person because that would be extremely dangerous and stupid so here we go got the pin down now it's time for the Shakespeare I'm gonna cast this to the left there are no cars coming let's see how much further this either goes or doesn't go here we go oh my god okay I cast that one too far to the left uh, but that's okay it's probably in some trees <laughs> well, let's see how far over these trees I am I'm actually gonna have to go out the fence and real close to the side um, I'm over the tree I'm over the tree that's about 25 feet in the air oh man I hope I don't lose this line so here we go outside the fence I'm gonna follow the fence line this may have this may have actually beat the pin which I'd be surprised if this beat the pin just because the pins a stiffer rod uh, I did have more control over this because I was pointing severely to the left having more control over this here I am going over this pole uh, there it goes another tree Right now I'm going to set this down like that because I may have some trouble getting this off I need to see where this landed terrible cast but let's see where it landed if it hit the tree it could took some of the distance off I may have to do this one more time look at this I don't know if you can see that but that was over the tree And we landed right here on the fence. So if this would have hit the ground, you can see the perspective of the other one. The pin beat this, maybe. I may have to cast this one more time if I can get it down. But this one too went about 123 hanging on the fence. Boy, I hope I can get this down. I'm over two trees, so that's how high that was coming down. Man, oh man. Unbelievable. I'm going to cast this one more time. I'm going to go to the left a little bit.
All right, that's a great cast. Let's see where it went. How did it get? Oh, it's the line still falling. <laughs> line was still falling man see how that drifts here we go I don't it is over the fence it is over the fence let's see how it compares you're gonna see in the video the way the way it stacks up against each other with that flex the flex that's in uh, the pin squadron 2 and the massive flex that's in this so it looks like the pin squadron 2 there's the weight through the fence see it moving the pin squadron 2 beat the ugly stick it looks like seven yards so we got a seven yard plus margin with the pin squadron two and you got to determine if that's worth it i think any additional distance is worth it for me i'll still use my ugly sticks but the pin squadron two got seven more yards that could be the difference in finding a fish in a different place traveling if you got an additional seven yards using the exact same line the braided seeger smackdown 30 pound eight pound diameter leader and the pin 6500s that was a cool demonstration so let's sum this video up here and talk about these two rods well there you have it looks like the pin squadron 2 whether it was a two yard gain with that cast that i had from the ugly stick that went to the left and over trees or whether it was a seven yard gain i only casted the pin squadron 2 once but I was satisfied with the results of that cast. Uh, these two rods are great. I'm gonna prefer the one that gets me out the furthest. I'm always casting four ounce leads no matter what. I don't care what the conditions are. I do that for distance. It makes me more versatile. If I wanna go to a spot, I can reach the spot. But now I know one, I can cast 125 yards <laughs> with the pin squadron two or greater, 127 maybe. And we still get pretty far distance uh, with the ugly stick. And you're looking at about $80 for the Pin Squadron 2. You're looking at about $60 to $70 for the big game ugly, the big game ugly stick. Uh, that's up to you to choose. But you saw the differences in casting. It was not much. But I prefer as much distance as I can get when I'm surf fishing. Thank you so much for watching this video. Leave a comment below what your furthest cast is or a rod that you recommend that will cast further than these two i'd like to know if you have one you want to send me i'll take those two join me next time right here when we excite the surf strike god bless